biomedical engineering at Columbia University is highly interdisciplinary and encompasses research expertise across the whole university. Our department also emphasizes solving real-life complex biological and medical problems, in other words, engineering for healthy humanity. A biomedical engineer typically has a, a plethora of skills that span life sciences and biology, traditional engineering. Our people have to have an appreciation for socioeconomical concerns, right? especially, say, our teams that are working in low-resource settings, but all of our groups have to be cognizant of the entrepreneurial aspects. So a BME is a, is a hybrid engineer. Columbia University is uh, fortunate to have a top medical school, so it's an incredibly rich and diverse opportunity to cross-pollinate engineering principles with the needs of medicine. We're in a lab for stem cells and tissue engineering. We are now capable to repair organs and parts of the human body. We are becoming much more sophisticated now with our designs of the biological systems. So you can make a whole set of very small size organs and tissues from an individual on a chip. And you can do testing in a patient-specific way. So when we talk today about precision medicine, this is one of the most effective directions in which this area is going. I'm part of the Zuckerman Institute at Columbia. It's the Mind Brain Behavior Institute, and we're really trying to understand the brain from every possible angle. In my lab, we develop new microscopes and new ways to image the brain and other living tissues. Imaging in particular, biomedical imaging, really spans a huge range of disciplines. And quite uniquely, I think, we extend our techniques quite often into the studies of disease. So we're studying uh, stroke, we're studying brain development, we're studying Alzheimer's. Neuroscience is continually changing and requires this really rapid uh, adoption and leveraging of new tools. The work that we do is really about trying to work on the cancer problem, and that fits into Columbia Engineering for Humanity. What we do in the lab is try to program bacteria by engineering their DNA, and then we will actually put them together with cancer cells and visualize them under the microscope to see how their interactions behave. And so we are very interested in the process of visualization itself whether it's through the microscope or by staining them in different colors. The visualizations can specifically help inspire new ways to try and detect and treat cancer. All this uh, work is really very heavily based on effective collaboration of people from many different areas because our approach to biology, to tissue engineering, to building new technologies is very holistic. Our faculty are very much engaged with the students. We, we depend upon the students. They're the lifeblood of our laboratories, for example. It allows them to have an impact and actually to affect humanity, to affect patients, to save lives. I've seen our students go on to incredibly diverse careers, um, from medicine to being patent lawyers, to being investors, to working for Doctors Without Borders. And I characterize them as being people who are ready for a challenge, who are ready to say, well, I don't know much about heart valves, but give me a couple of days and I'll read up on it. Mm -hmm.